Are you looking for a guide on how to ruin a comic book cover? Well, you have found it. You know, I look at comic book collecting as really a journey. It really doesn't have a defined beginning and end. It's uh, my own collecting journey has taken some some twists and turns, and I've been on some breaks and hiatuses, and uh, have, I'm certainly back into the hobby now, uh, probably like I've never been. Uh, and just, it's, it's something that I, I thoroughly enjoy from the reading and the collecting and the grading the buying, the selling, all of that, um, the data. <laughs> I love uh, uh, the creators. I could go on and on. Um, and one of those uh, parts of this journey that I'm on that, that kind of goes off uh, off the path here, uh, uh, here and there is certainly pressing and cleaning. And again, it's, it's, a, it's a path on the journey that I am learning, I'm educating myself, and for me, a lot of it has to come down to trial and error. I have to get hands-on with the book, hands-on with products, and try them out. And what I like to do is document the process, certainly so that I can look back and learn from mistakes or figure out what I did right and wrong, and then share them with you so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I do. Let me spend the money and spend the time. Um, you can watch this video for a few minutes and kind of see the mistakes that I made. Uh, and what I wanted to try was another uh, wet cleaning experiment. And I picked a book that I had picked up uh, at a recent show, and this is uh, Avengers 265. Uh, it is a um, Beyonder cover, Secret Wars 2 tie-in. Uh, it's a great time to uh, be reading Avengers here with uh, John Buscema on art uh, with assists from Tom Palmer. Um, I mean, the, these are just great Avengers panels here. Um, love this book. Uh, it was very beat up, but I picked up um, several copies of these Avengers books in the 260s and 270s uh, for a dollar a piece, and I knew they were beat up, but I wanted to uh, have some on hand that... Uh, I could uh, potentially clean and press and practice on. I have free comic book day books to uh, practice on, but those are modern books. So they have the glossy uh, cover or it's the Marvel thin cover that's like the interior pages. But I wanted to have more books like this that have the, the newspaper style in here so that I can start to build data on these particular books. All right, so that's why <laughs> I had those books. Uh, but what I ended up doing was I had indicated in my inventory tracker that this was a book that I think would benefit from a clean prior to pressing. So the next series of clips are me going through an additional run of wet cleaning, and I'm using ImmacuClean for this part of the process. And uh, I have some mixed results uh, again. Uh, I think there's some benefits to using it. And then um, I don't want to say that there's some negatives, but certainly if you don't handle it properly and if you don't do things the right way and, um, you know, you could end up with the book <laughs> looking like it does. And I, I have some zoomed in uh, final uh, videos for you to look at, video clips. Um, it's, again, it's not a magic trick, a silver bullet for uh, cleaning books, but as I'm looking at the book now and kind of staring at it, uh, I definitely think that the biggest factor into handling comic books that you believe that you can improve, whether it's pressing, cleaning, humidity tank, whatever it is, there's no fast way to accomplish this. Uh, and I think that that's one of the lessons that I learned that I'm trying to pass along is patience. Patience has to be part of your formula. Um, I get very impatient because in my mind, I can picture this book cleaned up, no dirt, 
pressed clean a few you know spine issues thinking i'm gonna make this book an eight five i can picture it in my mind and then what happens along the way is i get impatient i force the issue and i end up doing things to the book that i didn't want to do because i was going too fast was trying too hard and these are the clips that I want to share with you uh, around that process of, of being impatient and what impatience does to a comic book when you're when you're working with it. And if think about it, even if you're reading a book, if you're trying to speed read it, you're probably grabbing it like this and folding it and doing other things. Whereas uh, books that I really cared for, that I wanted to take my time and enjoy, but also preserve the condition, you know, I was holding it a certain way right, to make sure that the spine was intact, and I was very gently turning the page and, and reading the book. And so patience is the theme, uh, or the lesson learned, I should say, whereas impatience was a, a big variable in the next sequence of, of clips and, and photos on this book. Um, again, I'm learning, I'm trying to pass it along. So here is a series of clips of me taking Avengers 265 start to finish with a Mackie clean. Okay, so here is the book, uh, just straight out of the bag before I did anything to it. This is Avengers 265. Um, this is a great book to practice on because it is a bit of an older book. It's newspaper, um, and it has a lot of, uh, I would say, common uh, dirt and defects that uh, you would find in, in this era. Uh, unfortunately, nothing I can do about that corner, but there is that little dent across Marvel. Uh, again, this whole character box needs a good clean, as does the trade. So we can see the dirt in Avengers. And I love practicing on these books. These are great books. They're great books to read. And then they're great books to practice cleaning and pressing on. Uh, front cover looks pretty good there. I don't see a lot of dirt, um, but you know, as we get into some of the whites and yellows there in Captain Marvel, I uh, can see all the, the dirt in there that needs to be removed. And then lastly here, uh, this is going to be interesting, all of this dirt in here that needs to uh, get out. Uh, and you can see it, it has very subtle spine ticks. Some of them are color breaking but just giving you a full before and after uh, as part of this process. So this is the before stage. And then let's look at the back. Uh, it's a dark cover, so uh, I don't even think it's worth cleaning in here. Maybe just give it just a brief once over, but lots and lots of uh, dents and damage and things here in the book. That one's uh, got a big uh, color breaking. And again, just showing you what it looks like beforehand so that when we're finished and comparing side by side you can see if the book was improved or not some corner softening there so that's kind of the once over of the book so the next step will be putting it uh, through a little bit of a wet cleaning process and then once that's done uh, we'll put it in the press and see what that looks like um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take the tack iron to the spine, to be honest. I'm, I'm not exactly sure if I want to tackle that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth the time there. But uh, I definitely want to give this the wet cleaning treatment and see if that does the trick with the front cover. Okay, so here's what I'm working with today. Uh, I ended up buying uh, some more of these uh, cotton rounds. Uh, I just got uh, a tube of this from Amazon, I noticed that I was, I was trying to save these for some reason. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> uh, but the, uh, you end up going through several of these. So I'm gonna take about five out. I don't think I'll need all five, um, but these uh, I was um, the the Macu Clean starter kit came with I think about five of these, and that's all I had. So I ended up buying some more. Um, the other thing is I still like this. This is an absorbing uh, based sponge. Um, I try not to, uh, you know, rub too rigorously with this. You can see what happens. It gets a little dark there, but just to kind of see what it can get up 
uh, on the surface just by kind of rubbing the cover here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, especially over the trade, and just to get some of the, any kind of light dust or anything. And then over the corner box, again, this is not really going to pick up any of the dirt. It's more just to give yourself a nice clean surface to work on. Turn it this way here. And just also uh, kind of rubbing away from the spine, just making sure there's no dust or anything. Uh, you know, I worry about anything on here that would mark or dent the book as I'm kind of working on it. And it just kind of, it's probably not necessary, but I like to do it anyway. Uh, I get my money's worth with the, uh, the sponge. Um, I'm gonna wear gloves this time. So I'll put that on. All right, and again, using uh, a Mackie Clean, the cleaner here. Um, try to get it in focus, there you go. I do have a video here where I talk about this and, and how to set it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And you simply just press down on the pump. I found the pump kind of works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, so I will, uh, Maybe tilt it, turn it. There it's kind of locked, there it's open. All right, here we go. So just gonna kind of give it a nice once over. And what I'm gonna do is basically when I see the book starting to wrinkle like that, um, just kind of give up on that area, so to speak. Let's try in the corner here. So this dirt is, is pretty gross. Um, so again, I'm not exactly sure yet <clears throat> how much pressure I'm supposed to be putting here, if I'm supposed to be scrubbing the book or not. Let's get in here. There was another trouble spot with Captain Marvel. So it's getting some dirt off, not a ton, at least according to the color of the pad. That's probably enough in that area again, just kind of like once it starts to wrinkle, I just uh, give up on it. All right, now I'm turning the book over to get the corner box here. Just get a little bit of the lettering and back up here one last time. Okay, so let me see here how it looks so far. Um, yeah, it's tough, like, I see it a little bit of an improvement, but not great, especially here in the yellow. It's pretty dirty still. If you keep rubbing on the book while it's wet, you start digging into the page. So you have to kind of let it sit. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and then we'll come back and take another pass. I'll give it like maybe five or 10 minutes just to kind of air out and dry. And then uh, see, uh, actually, let me just continue one last area. I just noticed right in here with the eyes of the beyonder i kind of get that area too in the black knight okay all right so that's good for now um i'm gonna let it dry again i i feel compelled to continue to to rub on the book but I gotta give it a pass and let it dry out. So there's the first pass. Uh, again, still fairly dirty, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a chance to dry and then we'll take another pass. All right, so the book has been drying for maybe about 12 minutes or so. And I wanted to go ahead and start to point out a few things. Um, so that's the trade after the, the first pass and the drying. Uh, again, I, I think a slight improvement up there is a really trouble spot. Uh, that we'll have to deal with. Uh, the corner box looks better, looks much better, um, especially right up in this corner. Uh, so I think that there's an improvement, and this was the first spot where I noticed uh, that the Immaculate Clean was starting to uh, wrinkle the paper, where you can almost see spots because it was getting so damp. And to me, that's that's when you've gone too far. That's where you have to kind of stop and slow down and let it dry. So um, the book is is starting to wrinkle a bit. So, you know, again, this is where the press will help take care of that. But I want to go through one more pass. And I'm going to try and rub just a little bit more aggressively uh, because I want to get 
some of that dirt out of the trade. So uh, that'll be a little bit of a different approach there. So yeah, what you see there is it's not getting dirty. It's actually um, getting wet. Right, so that's what I'm trying to be careful of. I'm trying not to tear the paper and go any further. But this is a, that was a pretty aggressive um, pass there. So again, what you're seeing, if anything, like in the A, uh, that is just dampness. And that's the pad after I added a bit more pressure. So it does require some amount of pressure, but you have to just stop. <laughs> That's what I'm finding out. Now this corner is tough because I have to be able to get in there with my hand. So I'm just going to rub this way. <laughs> Can you hear it squeaking on the book? Try and get that off. And that's just tough right there. It, oh, man. don't know what to do about that particular corner. That may just be all I can do. Uh, some of the yellow is starting to come off there on the pad. So yeah, I mean, look at this. So that, that was a pretty rough pass in the corner and it took off that yellow. It just took it right off the page. So yeah, that's where... Um, an erasing technique of some kind, I'm not sure exactly, but that pass right there probably ruined the book. But again, this is this is why I'm doing it is for um, to learn because I would hate to do this on a very very um, expensive book in a high grade that just needs a light cleaning. So I'm gonna kind of do the same with Captain Marvel, but not again. The lesson learned there was you saw I went probably eight or nine times, maybe a dozen times over that corner, and I'm just gonna. Give this a, a once over there, just like that, and see if that was enough. Now back to the corner box to try and finish off cap down here. And again, that's that's going to be good enough for me. So what you see there that that is the um, that is the moisture on the book. It is not dirt. And then I'll turn it over one more time and get a good angle on this. So in this pass, I'm, I'm definitely applying more pressure here. And you can see, uh, as soon as it comes into focus, uh, more dirt. So what I'm going to do with the back is just give this one just kind of a, a light, just like no pressure. So if you're kind of like, I guess um, scoring the amount of pressure, because it's hard to see on a video, obviously, you know, kind of a one through 10, where one is extremely light pressure and 10 is, is putting the maximum amount of pressure or gripping. Like when I go over the back, it's probably like a two or three. And when I was going over the front, it was like, like a seven or an eight. So this is, this is just to kind of maybe shine it up a little. It's probably not doing much of anything but still just trying to pull up a, a little bit of dirt off of the back. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then um, we'll take a look at it one more time uh, to see, <laughs> I mean, it's, look at this corner. Ah, so I completely ruined it. Uh, what does it look like on the inside? Yeah, so you can see the, the dampness there, but uh, yeah, so, and I had heard that too, I had heard that uh, you had to be careful around the yellows because it would pick it right up. But when I tried it the first time, I didn't really notice. But man, I really, really got the pad wet and um, pulled right along the edge there. And it just yanked the yellow ink right up. And you can also see I, I did way too much. So this was the same trouble I had before when I worked on the book with the Q-tip. You can see the paper fibers wrinkling and almost starting to shrivel up. Uh, and get raw so that that's the raw paper that's like that thin layer under the gloss and I've just pulled up the gloss on that guy and just just ripped it up so that was completely my fault and again what I'm trying to figure out is just the level of pressure again using that 1 to 10 scale and uh, how many passes and everything so like the Captain Marvel I went with uh, a lighter 
pass, and you can see she's pretty clean. Um, and what's nice is the yellow is kind of all over the place, so you don't really see if I picked up a little bit anyway. There's maybe just a touch right in the middle, but it's not bad. And this is what I was doing before, and I was like, I'm like, I don't think it's getting cleaner, but it, what I was seeing is I was seeing the dampness. So there's the updated corner box. Like it's it's drying here in real time. So a little bit of dirt left in there, but again, this is zoomed in quite a bit. Um, that may just be uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know if it's like dirt embedded in the paper or what, but uh, I don't know. And then here's the corner box again as it's drying, and. I'm going to let it dry before I get in there again, but um, that's additional dirt that could be taken out, but it, it is improving. It's becoming whiter. And then overall, just on the front, I think it's it's better. So it probably deserves another pass. Um, I'm probably going to stop here, honestly. Um, even in the end, I went way too far. You could see it starting to bunch up right in here on the left side, but better. Right, so again, this is, I'm not waiting for it to dry, but um, that's pretty shiny. Like I'm, and I'm moving this back and forth in the light so you can catch the glare off the letters. So as this is drying, you're seeing the dampness disappear where it appears like it's dirty. But again, I think I did way too much. So it's almost like you have to give it lighter pressure Take a pass, let it dry, and just rinse and repeat until the dirt's gone. Um, what I did in that second pass is I got impatient. And what I decided to do was just rub harder on the book. And in doing so, damaged it. So that's my advice there on that, is to go ahead and take your passes and take your time. So give it a, you know... A once over and then 10 to 15 minutes to dry and then do it again until the dirt's gone and you're better off working that way than what I just did because now you're lifting color and gloss off the book so if I had been patient but again this is where I'm trying to balance like because of my aggressiveness I think the trade is super clean but because of my aggressiveness I also pulled up color you know, so this is where, you know, I, I would I would consider maybe a once over. And then if I did have some larger spaces that I felt like going in with an eraser, possibly, and just just kind of lifting up those last specks of dirt, maybe that's a better choice. And then saving, you know, more immaculate clean for this area, because the eraser is going to pick up that yeah, it's, and the ink there. So it's kind of hard and to, to use an eraser in the spot where Captain Marvel is. Uh, as goes for for cap in the corner box so like right in there I could so I, I would possibly even go back here and just take the take an eraser just to the edge possibly um, but I think it might be worth one last pass with the clean so I'll let this dry do one last pass and then kind of show you that final result once the book uh, has dried after this pass Okay, so I think I'm done with the ImmacuClean. Um, honestly, I think I did the best I could with it, and I'm interested and curious to see if the eraser approach here will kind of work in the corner box. So I used this kind of kneaded eraser where you can kind of push it around and uh, see how this goes here instead. Just kind of lightly working in the corner area. Yeah, this seems to work a little bit better. So you can see right there already that that's looking nicer. What I like about the kneaded eraser is it's a little sticky. So it's almost like just grabbing those little extra spots. And I, I'm not really taking into consideration the spine here. Like, am I jamming the spine? Because this book is in, uh, it's mid-grade. And I've already ruined it beyond repair at this point, so I'm just seeing what I can do. But I really like this kneaded eraser. It's not the easiest thing to hold because it uh, you kind of have to reform it over and over. But I do like the
the results with this uh, rather than like a, a plastic eraser. Get that center back in there. And again, you don't need to be perfect. I, I always want to get it perfectly clean, but you know, it, if it is perfectly clean, maybe that's a red flag for a grader. You could see there it's, it's picked up those last bits of dirt, but it's not perfect. It definitely has some remnants of dirt in there. I'm going to try and see if I can get all of this out up there in the top left. That any better let's see it, it's it's just a little bit and it, you know this is where you have to balance what your time is worth um about the trade um i can actually see more when it's zoomed out there's just a there's a there's a bit of dirt up here in the r let's see if i can get that out Yeah, I think it's gone. Not bad. Again, it's it's not it's not perfect. I mean, it's an aged book. This is uh, from 1985, so it's um, 36, 37 years old. So it is going to have some age. It you don't want it, to, I guess, look like it just came off the press. Um, I mean, you'd you'd love if you could do that, but uh, it's okay if it doesn't. Like, I think you're going to be forgiven. Um, so just kind of. Giving it a, a rub there. Again, when I erase too, I move away from the page and never come back this way because you'll catch the edge. So yeah, that's about as clean as we're gonna get <clears throat> on that um, without me further damaging the book. No, I'm like, I don't remember seeing that little speck. Did I do that? Did I pull up? more ink or was that always there? I'll have to go back and look. So I'll just kind of give it a little bit of a once over here. Again, just kind of like using this, kind of burying my thumb in it and and then reforming it and then doing it again. But I have found these erasers to be relatively safe, much safer than the plastic ones. The plastic ones will also pull up the yellow that looks pretty good. And then just to kind of finish it off, just kind of go over. And this again, from a pressure perspective, I'm doing this like with a two or a three. I'm just kind of moving this eraser along the book. I'm not, the, the trade I probably got in a five with a five or a six, maybe even a seven. Same pressure I was using before with the uh, makeup pad. But uh, this I'm just kind of rubbing over. Maybe this is a three or a four in terms of pressure. And the book is, is pretty dry at this point. Um, I want to see see what that is. I, I, I'm just curious to see if there's any part of this I can get up with the eraser as well. I don't I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be whatever it is. It's it's a some sort of tear or like I said it's it's kind of embedded. I don't know. I don't know what it is right in here. I don't know. Uh, I think that's probably the best I can do and pretty much all I want to do to this book. Um, I may test out a press just to see what it looks like after a press, but yeah, the book was ruined by me up there when I got into that. <clears throat> and also the, there was a little bit of folding in there. But overall, um, again, I, and I'm zoomed in, so if we zoom out and you don't stare up at the top corner, there's kind of the my final take on the book right there. So what do you think? Uh, obviously, <laughs> go easy on the yellows, but uh, I think it's improved if you do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a ways to go with learning how to use the product, but uh, I think areas of it were certainly improved. That corner box looks like super clean now. Letters. Very, very nice. And right here on the price and the character box, much better. 
it's just that that I screwed up. So had I left that alone and maybe maybe used the needed eraser on it instead, I might have been better served. So definitely be careful of the yellows. Okay, so here's the final step, I guess, uh, final review. Uh, this is the book uh, after it's dried, <clears throat> just about 24 hours. And uh, it definitely looks like a book that would be worthy of a press based on the wrinkling and, and, and it's certainly it's very dry to the touch now and everything. Uh, so I just want to kind of show you what the final results were here. Here's the corner box <clears throat> looking so much better. So definitely a lot of improvement. There's that uh, Captain Marvel there that had the dirt and then the trade as well. Again, last review there in the corner that I pulled up all of the yellow right there in the corner, but uh, looks really great. The other thing I noticed, it, again, because I went a little bit too aggressive there, you can see how the letters are, um, the pages are, are, the page around the letters, I should say, it's starting to get very kind of brittle and, and dry. Um, so that's, again, that's a product of me um, just getting a little bit too aggressive with the book. It really just needs to be more of a, of a wipe and clean process. So um, there you go. That's kind of the final assessment. Still has the ability to get a lot of dirt out of the book. It's just, uh, you just have to understand just the right amount of pressure and uh, be willing to be patient with the book and allow for several passes with it and then uh, go, uh, let it dry, rinse and repeat. So you may want to have a few of these going at the same time. Um, you just got to be patient and just kind of let the process uh, finish before um, the press and then it would come out nice and crispy and clean. So there you go. Uh, let me know what you think uh, below in the comments. I would appreciate it. Uh, appreciate your feedback. There you go. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting and see you next time.